So, genetic stripes, I want to say the first one I saw um, was probably like 2014. The first one I owned was probably around the same time, actually, because I'm not the type of, to wait around. If I see something I like, I get it. So, genetic stripe is not one of my top favorite morphs, but it is um, a very good accent, accenting accent, accent morph. Accent. It, it, it adds to the bearded dragon. So, if I were to have a leatherback dunner, that looks great. But if I had genetic stripe on top of it, it looks surreal. It looks amazing because genetic stripe now defines the back, keeps all of the dunner striping and everything else off to the side instead of it being everywhere because genetic stripe does give a definition to the spine, cleans up the spine. It creates a nice little area in the middle of the back where it's pretty perfect. So that's, that's what I see in the genetic stripe anyways. Now getting into genetic stripes back then, it wasn't as crazy as getting into genetic stripes. Now, back then people were fine with calling a dragon with broken stripes, a genetic stripe. Nowadays, people aren't so keen to do that. People don't care if you call something a genetic stripe that is a broken stripe. They will automatically tell you that it's not a stripe. 